Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, um, I'm going to discuss a few of the interview questions which comes from a wrapper classes in Java. So these questions are going to be really simple. I mean, if you know it, it's going to be really simple. But if you don't know it, it's going to be kind of tricky for you guys, right? But anyhow, we're going to know about it. And in case if you don't know, uh, by the end of this tutorial, we're going to see all the solutions for these questions that I'm going to code over here. All right, so let's get started. So just think like I'm taking a Boolean class over here. Boolean B equal to new Boolean. And I'm going to keep the value over here uh, true. And I'm again taking Boolean B1 equal to new Boolean of. I'm taking true here. And I'm just going to print b dot equals, and I'm going to compare it with b1. All right. You just need to guess the output uh, that this is going to be true or false. All right. That's it. So let me type something um, again over here. B2 equal to new boolean. And now this time, let me type like this, true. And boolean b3 equal to new boolean of. This time, this is t r u e. So this is kind of uh, tricky if you don't know the answer, right? So you may get this question uh, in your written test. You may get this question during your face-to-face -face time. So uh, better to uh, have some idea about it, right? And right now, I'm going to do again a sysout and b2 dot equals. Where is it? Yes, b3, right? So again, right now you need to guess, is it going to return me true or false? Okay, and before we go ahead, just me type and another one think like b4 equal to new boolean of uh, hey <laughs> and boolean b5 equal to new boolean of uh, let's say pi right and again I'm going to print this out um, let's say b4 dot equals b5 and just guess it either it's gonna be true or false all right guys so I think uh, now you might have already guessed the answer for all these three piece of code so right now let me go ahead and let me run this application and let us check the output that what we're getting over here so as you can see in the output console, we are getting true, true, and true as the output. So in each of the three cases, I'm getting true as the output over here. All right, so right now, uh, let's talk about this particular line. So here, I'm just using a Boolean type constructor, and I'm passing true as the argument. So as you know, if you talk about your Boolean class, this is a wrapper class, and your Boolean class actually have two different constructor within it. Uh, so your boolean can accept a constructor in form of a string, okay? Uh, so I just need to pass a boolean value. So whenever I'm passing true over here, this is just converting it to the boolean type uh, true here. All right. And similarly, over here, we do have a, another constructor for our boolean class which takes a boolean value directly. So we have two different type of boolean value. One is true, one is false. So I'm passing true over here. Uh, so the value of b1 will be true again, all right? So here we just need to guess it is true or false, right? So now the value of b is true. The value of b1 is again true. So uh, b dot equals b1 is gonna check the content so true equals true is true so I'm gonna get the answer as true right it's really simple 
So now let's talk about this piece of code. So if you talk about this value uh, true that I'm passing over here. So first of all, we have our constructor inside our boolean class and we can pass a string uh, within our constructor. But the thing is, the initial letter of this true is capital here. So now what's going to be um, uh, what's going to be the value for B2? So you just need to keep in mind that this is case insensitive, right? So you can put uh, your content like any format, right? You can put it in uppercase, lowercase, in mixed uppercase, lowercase, that's going to be fine, okay? So it doesn't matter as long as you are passing true over here. So you are passing true, so now the value will be true, right? So as long as you are passing true over here, the value will be true. All right, so like that over here, I'm again passing true. This is case insensitive. So uh, the value of B3 is again going to be true here. So B2 equals B3, true equals true is true. So the answer for this is going to be true. So now let's talk about this, all right? So here, the B4, uh, uh, I'm passing hey uh, inside the Boolean constructor. So apart from true, whatever I'm going to pass inside the constructor is going to take as false, all right? So now the B4 value is false. And what about the B5 here? Now, I'm, I'm not taking true over here. I'm just passing a random string. So the value for this is again going to be false. All right. Now, the value of V4 is going to be false. And the value of V5 is also false. Now, false equals false. Uh, the content is same. So it's going to be uh, false again. Sorry, uh, it's going to be true again. Because false equals false is true, right? Okay, so this is how we're getting true, uh, true, true as the output. So let's check another one. And uh, let's say we have an, another Boolean here, Boolean B5 is equal, let's say Boolean B6 equal to new uh, Boolean of. And let's say um, hello. And again, I'm taking boolean b7 is equal to new boolean of. And here I'm taking false. And I'm doing a sys out over here. b4 dot equals and b7. Oh, I'm sorry, it's B6. Um, we just need to guess the output right now. It's going to be true or false. Now, as I said, I'm not passing true over here. So the value for this is going to be false. And over here, I'm passing directly false here, which is a Boolean type. So the value for this is again going to be false. Now, false equals false. It's going to be true isn't it so uh, the result is going to be true again so in each of these four cases, we are going to get true as the output I think this is clear right so let me run it again and here you can see this right true 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 in the output console so I know guys this is really simple but I just wanted to cover it um, in case if you are not aware about it because uh, this is uh, some kind of questions that you might get um, in your written exam or in your face-to-face -face time and uh, You know if you don't know how these things are happening uh, It might be get tough for you at that particular time, right? Uh, okay, so that's it